In this video, I want to offer up a real-world example of matrix multiplication. So there are a lot of fields where matrices are used in the real world. Uh, computer science, for example, with encryption, graphics, 3D gaming, animation, just to name a few. And in fact, in computer programming in general, matrices are called arrays, and they are table-like structures that can actually be multi-dimensional. Instead of just rows and columns, you can actually have three, four, five-dimensional arrays that can store and manipulate a lot of data. And how about economics, physics, geology, and honestly, there's a lot more. That's for another video, though. Here, I would like to work through a basic example of matrix multiplication to give you an idea of how it is applied in a real-world situation. In this example, a student, we'll call her Julie, is selling cookies, cakes, and pies for a bake sale, and she records her sales during a five-day period, Monday through Friday. At the end of the week, she can use matrix multiplication to see just how much money she earned each day and ultimately get a weekly total. It's very practical to store these kinds of data in a matrix, as matrices are essentially table structures. Each row in this matrix will represent a different day, Monday through Friday, and each column in the matrix will represent uh, some of these baked goods as sold. So we have cookies by the dozen, cakes, and pies. So we can take a look at using a second matrix, a column matrix, and this is going to store the unit price of each of these baked goods. So we see that the cookies here are $4, cakes are $10, and pies are $8. And it's important to see that we keep them in the same order. Cookies, cakes, pies, cookies, cakes, pies. And this is a very powerful matrix because its entries will drive the gross revenue that Julie gets from selling her baked goods. So let's look more specifically at these matrices. So we look at this three right here, and this represents that on Monday, Julie sold three dozen cookies. This five down here, Wednesday, she sold five cakes. And the zero here, unfortunately, on Thursday, she sold uh, zero pies. And so we have the unit prices here. Cookies are $4 per dozen, cakes are $10 each, and pies are $8 each. So that's kind of what all this represents, and we can set all of this up in this really nice table structure. So if we were going to look at just Monday, for example, and we were trying to figure out how much she made, well, she had three dozen cookies, and we know cookies are $4 per dozen, so we would take three times four, okay? So she sold five cakes. Cakes are $10 each, so 5 times 10. And she sold 3 pies. Pies are $8 each, so 3 times 8. And then she'd just add all those up. But isn't that just matrix multiplication, where you have a series of multiplications and then you add up all the products? Well, sure. So let's go ahead and slide down here and take a look at uh, this multiplication algorithm. So I have just copied down the two matrices and put them here in multiplication format. So here's the data for how many uh, of each item we sold, and then here, of course, is our unit price column matrix. So let's go ahead and do this multiplication. So remember that for matrix multiplication, we're going to work across the row and down the column, and we'll pair up each uh, of these entries here and multiply them and essentially add them all up. So the first entry in the first row and then the first uh, entry in this uh, column. So 3 times 4 is 12. And then the next one, 5 times 10 is 50. And the last one, 3 times 8 is 24. And that's the, what we talked about a while ago. And then we just add them all up to figure out how much she made on Monday. So let's go ahead and do Tuesday. 7 times 4 is 28. 1 times 10 is 10, and 2 times 8 is 16. So on Wednesday, 2 times 4 is 8, 5 times 10 is 50, and 3 times 8 is 24. Thursday then is 5 times 4 is 20, 4 times 10 is 40, and 0, uh, and of course, uh, times 8 is 0. So the last one, 3 times 4 is 12, uh, we have 40 for that one, and 32 for that guy. So this is what this matrix multiplication will look like, and we can go ahead and finish it up by doing all of these sums, and we can figure out how much she made uh, each day. So here we have 12 and 50 and 24, that looks like 86 for that first guy. 28 and 10 and 16 will be a little less, so $54 on Tuesday. 
Our Wednesday is 8 and a 50 and a 24, and that's going to be 82. So Thursday looks like just 60. And then Friday to finish up looks like, what, 84 right there. So what this does is this allows us to get a numeric view of just how much she made each of these days. And if you wanted to, there's no matrix operation for this, but you could go ahead and just add up all these entries. And uh, let's see, it should be like $366. And you would see that's how much she made for the entire week. So here is just a very basic and straightforward example of how matrix multiplication can be used in the real world. So we had our data structures right up here, our two matrices that contained uh, not only how many of each thing we sold each day, but then we were able to include our unit price column matrix, and that enabled us to do this multiplication, a very simple process that uh, gave us a lot of good information about how much money that Julie made on this bake sale this week.